I'm joined now here on Your Sports Winning with uh, TJ Bahane and also uh, Mark Draycott. Uh, both new signings for Swin and Suit Marine. Uh, welcome along, guys. We'll start with you, TJ. Um, like Mark, you've played for the club before, but uh, you've been away for a few years. You've now returned. Yeah, yeah. Um, pretty much was here yeah, five years ago with Webby from Highworth. Didn't work out, so moved away for a couple of years and he's welcomed me back to the club. And uh, what a season you had last year. Uh, you didn't quite uh, win the league title, uh, Lennox League title with um, Bracknell Town, but uh, 44 goals, uh, fantastic uh, total. Yeah, it's 49 actually, but well, you we must have missed a few. But <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, it was a good season. We had a good team. Should have won the league, but it's what it is. Yeah. Uh, and coming over to you, Mark, um, last year you, you took a year out. Yeah. Partly through injury, partly setting your business up? Yeah, no, no injury. Um, a little one now to, uh, to sort out in the next couple of weeks. But um, no, I had the opportunity to uh, to set my academy up here uh, and opted to do that. I think the going up with the conference south with Hungerford was just a no-go for me. So, yeah, I took the opportunity and enjoyed it. I uh, felt like I needed it as well. So, um, no, I've enjoyed it and uh, fresh, ready to go. And... Uh... I spoke to you a few weeks back, actually, and did mention about the possibility of you signing. And uh, fantastic. I, well, I said it's either shopping with a wife or, or come and play football on a Saturday afternoon. So w w what's made you decide to sign for Marine? They just missed it. Miss kind of scoring goals. Miss the lads. Um, miss football, really. Like I, say, I maybe did fall out of love with it a little bit a year ago. Um, but I miss being around it, I think. It was it was super marine or nowhere for me. I think the place has transformed since the last time I was here. Um, and it's great people behind the scenes as well and a good team. I've been out to obviously to watch a couple of times last year. Um, and it's just it's an attractive club now. Um, and uh, yeah, credit to Jez and and all the staff here as well because this it is transformed from where it was. Yeah. And TJ uh, at Bracknell last year they had a new new pitch, new stadium as well. Impressive. Uh, how does that compare to coming back to um, Marina? Yeah, yeah. It's was 4G pitch, it was a bit different, um, it's hard on the legs, cramping a lot, but yeah, it's a great setup there, but I've been up here a couple of weeks and it's amazing what they've done since I was here five years ago. Crazy. And uh, I believe last week you'd just come back from your honeymoon as well, many congratulations, you, you married Lauren yeah. uh, recently, brilliant, and uh, so honeymoon-wise, we running up and down on the on the beaches and up the sand dunes to keep fit? <laughs> no, not much of that, uh, a few beers and uh, lying down I think it was, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's been a hard first session back. Yeah. And um, signing for Marine as well, uh, how did it all come about? Um, Webby just gave me a call uh, about a month ago and said, you might as well, like, this makes sense to come play for Super Marine. It's around the corner from you. He said, I've been keeping an eye on you for a few years. You've been banging the goals in. I think it's time you step up and play at a higher level. Yeah. And I mean, looking at both you and Mark, you're sort of similar height. You both sort of play up front. Would you... Would, Mark, would you, how would you describe your sort of style of play, for example? I think um, I like to drop short, I like to be on the ball. I definitely consider myself a goal scorer, obviously. Um, but I, I'd like to say I kind of drop in a little bit. I like to pick the ball up, make my own chances. Um, yeah, try and get on the ball as much as possible if I can. I believe you've you've had a little bit of an injury, so pre-season wise, you you may be one or two weeks behind yeah. one or two others. I think probably a couple of weeks behind. I did something just innocuous in in my academy, actually just coaching, it just clicked, and uh, it's nothing serious. But yeah, it's probably two weeks behind everyone else. And uh, as we mentioned, uh, with your academy, uh, quite a few of the kids you're up here in the, in the Swindon quite regularly as well, and that's going to be great for them seeing you back out on the pitch playing isn't it in space absolutely we won um, obviously the academy's kicked off over the last four months it's gone it's gone really big really quickly so which is great and we want to try and blend that into the club you know integrate the children into the matches into the mascots on the pitch at half time as much as we can and and try and put bums on seats in here and get as many families in as possible i don't really think too many people know about it you know it's it's swindon town or nothing really in terms of um, a decent level in this town so if we can give um, the club some exposure then brilliant and uh, you both mentioned about the facilities here and, and what's been developed. I mean, it's it, it's coming on so quickly, isn't it? Yeah. Um, like I said, I think it's things to a couple of lads tonight when you when you come up here. It's it's a really imposing kind of ground now. Um, back in the day when I was here, I can't remember how long ago it was. You know, we were in the bogs out the back, and you know, it, it wasn't the, the same club as it is now. Uh, so, like I say, I think credit to everyone here who's putting a lot of hard work uh, to make it what it is now. I think. And uh, pre-season wise, TJ, uh, some some great games coming up: Swin and Town, Newport County, Forest Green Rovers. Uh, probably a better pre-season than what Swin and Town have got themselves. Yeah, I see they're uh, travelling the non-league clubs, but yeah, three league clubs to play against. It's going to be hard work. See what we can do, really. 
Yeah. And uh, also, I believe, Mark, we're going to be playing against one of your old sides, Hunger for Town, in a yeah. friendly. Do you think you're going to be fit enough for that? That's the one I'm hoping to. I actually spoke to Bobby last night on the phone, and uh, yeah, I think we're we're both hoping um, I can make that or we'll get some minutes at least. Um, so how hard we're working tonight with James, the physio here, um, I'm hoping to get there. So that's, hopefully, I can I can make an appearance that night, make my debut. Brilliant. Well, it's great to welcome you to the club. Really looking forward to to filming you and hopefully interviewing you and you guys talking us through all those attributes you're going to score for us. Nice one. Thanks Cheers. Very much. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks guys.